Stephanie, good morning. It's beautiful outside. The warm weather's yeah. back, so a lot of people are going to be firing up their grills and those outdoor fireplaces. How do you like this? I think you look really good. I feel I feel ready to fight look a fire. This. I got Rob on this side and a fire captain on the other side. I'm lucky. It's a lucky day. <laughs> this is Captain Maurice Vassar, Cincinnati Fire Department. How you doing, Captain? Real good. Good to be here. You guys are doing a big event for kids tomorrow. Yeah, it starts at 9 a.m. at uh, Yatemans Cove. 4,000 kids there last year. All about safety. Uh, fire safety, safety at the home, hospitals will be there, and it's fun for the kids. They love it. All right, now, what are you going to teach us here how to do? You're going to teach us how to put out a fire, because usually you don't have training to put out a fire, correct? So when you experience a fire, it's really for the first time. It's right off the cuff when yeah. you're at home. It's you and that fire extinguisher. There's a word to remember, pass, P-A-S-S. -S. Pull the pin, aim at the base of the fire. Uh -huh. You want to uh, squeeze the trigger All right. and sweep as you approach the fire. But the number one thing to remember, the first thing you want to do, call 911. Because if that fire's too big, if yeah. you feel uncomfortable even a little bit, don't attempt it. Let I the bet fire people fall. buy fire extinguishers all the time and never know how to use one. It's possible. I've heard people that got fire extinguishers and threw it at the fire. <laughs> and that's not the way you use it. Okay. All right, so now uh, you brought some members of your team with you. Uh, introduce them for us, and what are we going to be doing? Well, we have firefighter uh, battle. Firefighter Alter, and this is our fire specialist, Vicki Goodson. She's driving the big truck today. Oh, very nice. What we're going to do is light this on fire. Okay. okay. And we're going to do something. We're going to have anchor firefighters today. I uh, understand it's going to be Rob and Sheila fighting right. the fire. And We've you're going to back us way. up in case we mess it up, right? Uh, that's the plan. Uh, we're 80% uh, sure you won't get hurt, so just go ahead and uh, remember. 80% <laughs> sure? That's not good odds. That's, to not, me. that's, not, that's not good odds at all. Thank goodness you guys are around. So once again, it's pass. Pass. Uh, pull the pin. Pull the pin. Aim the extinguisher. Squeeze the trigger and sweep. Okay. I got a question for you. Uh, ex extinguishers are they good for all fires or only some fires? Excellent question. What we there's there's different types of extinguishers A, B, and C. We have a combination extinguisher. It's good for all those fires. It's a dry powder in there, and that's a good one. I picked those up at a big box department store. It's about twenty dollars each. Okay. All right, Chief. We're gonna walk over here right now. Okay. So we each get a fire extinguisher. We need somebody to hold the microphone and do like a little. You want to do a play by play? Do a play by play. <laughs> Okay. okay, when you're ready, uh, pull, the pin first. pull the pin. Aim the nozzle. Aim squeeze. at the base. Squeeze. <laughs> okay. Hey, you know what? Here, I'm sorry, I'm pushing the wrong thing. There we go. Excellent. Sweep, approach the fire. You see how it works. And that can be the difference between a small fire in your house or the whole house burning down. That small little deal right there. Because the thing is, is and I'm sure you got to react quickly because time is not on your side, correct? Time is not on your side. And I can't overemphasize, if there's the slightest tinge of doubt of whether it's too big to fight, don't attempt it. But the number one first thing you do, call 911. Get the big team on the way with the big truck and the big equipment. And then get out of the house. And, and I know that one thing that you teach the kids, because my son just went through a little training thing the other day, is to have a plan. Plan, right? Definitely. Have a plan to escape the building and a plan to meet so you know everybody is uh, safe from the fire. And, and for all the parents watching this morning whose kids are off school tomorrow, uh, tell us about the event one more time. What do they show up? Uh, what time does it start? This is a, a, a great event. It's Kids Safety Fair. It's at Yatemans Cove. Starts at 9, uh, ends at 2. And it's safety of the full spectrum of safety. Yeah. Not just fire safety, sure. bicycle safety, uh, safety kids uh, walking down the street, things around the house. And th last year we had a helicopter come and land from the Hamilton County's uh, Sheriff's Department. Kids loved it. We have music. We had ICs. It's just a great event. All of them are welcome to come I'm down. I'm sure you love it when you don't have to do your job and everybody stays safe. You know that. Yeah. When we stay in all day, it's actually That's a good right. day. Captain Vassar, thank you so much. And thank you so much to all of the folks who came and helped today. Good Can job. I have this hat? Good job, Firefighter Rob. <laughs> <laughs> He's live. I put him on the spot on TV. You see him out and over the ride with this on. <laughs> uh, can I have a drink uh, and some dinner?